Our next question says, um, I'm going to just get a nice blue here. Okay. Read the extract below. All right. So what are we doing? An outbreak of phyrotoxicosis, which means thyroxin is going to cause a toxicity. You become toxicated, so there's it, too much. You know when you say somebody is intoxicated, they have had too much alcohol. So toxicosis means that the body has got too much of that substance. Thyro from thyroid. Okay, so thyrotoxicosis is a medical condition caused by high levels of thyroxin in the blood. Okay, there was a sudden increase in the number of reported cases of this condition in one city. They suspected that this was due to people eating ground beef, which is minced meat, from a local butcher. Now, what did this butcher do? This butcher added thyroid glands of cattle. That does not sound very appetizing, people, really. So when he produced this ground beef, so you know he puts pieces of thyroid gland from cattle. Some people ate this ground beef and showed symptoms of, look at this, Increased heartbeat rate or heart rate, excessive sweating, which means they are overheating, and weight loss. Hmm. Doctors conducted an investigation to determine if the ground beef caused the thyro uh, thyrotoxicosis. Now, take note here, this is important. The normal thyroxin level of five volunteers was measured. They were given cooked ground beef, so they were given this cooked ground beef and they volunteers, so they're doing this voluntarily, to eat from this butchery. The thyroxin concentration was measured every four hours on day one, and then once a day for 23 days. The average thyroxin level was calculated. Now remember, when you see average, okay, it talks to this experiment being valid. and the reliability. And also, when you talk about the five people, that also talks to the reliability of this experiment. Okay, so let's have a look here what we are looking at. Okay, the results are shown in the graph below. It says, the average concentration of thyroxin in volunteers after eating so they were eating this cooked ground beef, okay, containing thyroid gland. Now, use your common sense. If the thyroid gland's job is to produce thyroxin and you eat a thyroid gland, you are clearly going to get thyroxin in your body. I mean, that's just common sense. So, let's see here. We've got the average concentration of the thyroxin, and this little here, that little U with the little long stripe in the front, those are micrograms per deciliter. And people remember, if it's on the y-axis, this is going to be your dependent variable. And if it's on your x-axis, then it is your independent variable. So this here is what's manipulated by the researchers, and it will be the hours and the days. Okay, this dependent variable is going to be what you observe or measure. Because when, generally when they ask questions like this, they want to know dependent and independent variable, and they want to know um, why this is the independent variable. So, let's find our questions. Okay, it says, give the average normal thyroxin concentration in microgram deciliter in the blood of the volunteers. So now we'll have to go back and check our diagram. Um, so look here. What was the normal? What was the average? It's here. So it goes from five and it rises all the way up within those eight, first eight hours to 25. Okay, so if we look here, so the average would have been 
get our nice yellow. The average would have been five micrograms per deciliter. And people for that, one mark. Thank you for coming. Calculate the percentage increase, okay, of the average, I'm going to just quickly change it, of the average thyroxine concentration for the first eight hours after eating this ground beef. Okay, so let's just check quickly. I can't quite remember here. Okay, so it goes from 5 and it goes to 25 and we need to work out the average. So it would look like this. It would be the total of 25, which is the maximum, after eight hours, minus the five that we started with, divided by five, okay? And then we want to get percentage, so it would be times 100 is equal to. So, 25 minus five is going to give you 20. 20 divided by five equals four. So, it's four times 100 is 400%. And for that, you get three marks. I mean, so it'll be one, two, three, done, sorted. Okay. Explain why thyrotoxicosis causes weight loss. Okay, why would it cause weight loss? This is actually very easy. You would start off by saying thyrotoxicosis, okay, causes an increase in the metabolic rate. And that is why there was an increase in heartbeat rate. There was sweating because the body's now using energy and in you making, at least in making energy and in making and using that energy, it's creating heat. That's why when you exercise, you get hot. All right, so you have an increased metabolic rate that will also increase your heart rate, it will increase your breathing rate, it will also increase your blood pressure. So there's an increase in the metabolic rate, so more fat is broken down, uh, broken down, and more glucose is used, all right, and therefore causing weight loss. People, that's why many of your weight loss programs, weight loss uh, supplements, have or contain a lot of caffeine. Because what does caffeine do? Caffeine increases your metabolic rate. And by increasing your, it stimulates your metabolic rate, which increases the burning up of your fuels. So you'll use the glucose. When you run out of glucose, you start breaking down the fat, and the fat is converted into glucose. All right? And so you go from fat to glycogen to glucose, and you just burn it. Um, the problem is that when your metabolic rate now, when you stop using those products, or in this case, you stop eating this ground beef, your, met your metabolism will go back to where it was, if not slower than it was. And that's why you yo-yo with your weight when you take all kinds of extra supplements to help you cause weight and burn and fat burners and stuff like that. Okay, explain the expected concentration of the thyroid stimulating hormone in the blood eight hours after eating the ground beef. Okay, just let's just refresh and look at our, our graph again. Okay, so after eight hours, we are sitting at 25 micrograms per deciliter. All right, so... I need for you to remember this. And, and this is not the answer, but you need to know this to be able to do the answer. You've got the pituitary gland. 
Okay, and you have the thyroid gland. Okay, the pituitary gland releases thyroid stimulating hormone. And that stimulates the thyroid to release thyroxin. Okay, let me just write stimulated here. To release thyroxin. So thyroid stimulating hormone, I mean the name tells you, it stimulates the thyroid to release thyroxin. When there are high levels of thyroxin in the blood, it inhibits the pituitary. So the pituitary gland releases less thyroid stimulating hormone. Okay? So the thyroid is less stimulated Restimulated, and therefore it releases less thyroxin into the blood. Remember, hormones can only ever travel in the blood, less thyroxin in the blood. So, when there are low levels, the pituitary gland is now going to be stimulated so it releases more thyroid stimulating hormone. And we go more thyroid stimulating hormones, so the thyroid is stimulated to release more thyroxin. That is going to now cause the pituitary gland to be less stimulated, and therefore it's going to release less thyroid stimulating hormones. So what happens? The thyroid now releases less thyroxin. Low levels will stimulate the pituitary, and we go back into the yellow cycle. So the pituitary will now release more thyroid stimulating hormone. So it literally does this shape of eight throughout the day to increase and decrease your metabolism. So when we explain this answer, it's going to look like this. We want to know the concentration of thyroid stimulating hormone in the blood eight hours after eating. In other words, when we have maximum levels of thyroxin. So your answer will say high levels of thyroxin and where will that thyroxin be? It will be in the blood. So high levels of thyroxin in the blood um, causes the pituitary gland, exactly what I explained above, the pituitary gland to secrete, not an S, to secrete um, less thyroid stimulating hormone. So high levels of thyroxin means the pituitary releases less thyroid stimulating hormone into the blood. And what results from that? Therefore, the thyroid stimulating hormone level or levels will decrease. Okay, so the more thyroxin, the pituitary is not going to be stimulated, it's going to be inhibited. So it releases less thyroid stimulating hormone so that the thyroid is less stimulated. Okay, so your thyroid stimulating hormones will be down if there's lots of thyroxin in the blood. When the thyroxin levels get low, the pituitary gland will be stimulated to release more thyroxin. And that, I mean, more thyroid stimulating hormones, so the thyroid will produce more thyroxin. So it's a negative feedback mechanism if it goes up. A corrective mechanism makes it comes down, come down. And when it goes down, a corrective mechanism increases it. And so you have this wave-like balance in the body.